the bas oh, these basket yeah. stars. Yeah. It just looked like a wall of basket stars. That was very unique. I've never seen anything quite like that. The, so the size of the coral, the amount of things on it, um, and the fish being predated upon by the brittle stars getting all wrapped up in those vines. Oh my God, scary. I didn't like it. I was fighting for him in my mind. I said, wiggle, wiggle little man. <laughs> or fish, whatever he was. I don't know what it was. <laughs> little fish man. Yeah, little, little fish uh, thing. Uh, oh, it was cool. I'm that sure it'll go really back on the, the YouTube. Yeah. So that relicanthus is not an anemone that we were looking at earlier, but a whole new family of Nadarian. Really? Yeah, that's so cool. That's crazy. Raj, Raj. Uh. I'm glad this is the heading we're going because I can't really turn that much to the left. <laughs> oh no. I get to like 320 and then it says, that's all the beans you got. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of beans. <laughs> <laughs> no pennies in the bank that direction. No. <laughs> the current like, s says n no. <laughs> yeah. It's cruising. We have a question yeah. about uh, whether Herc has any automatic motion stabilization to maintain its position. Uh, we have like, we can, if you put in a com uh, automatic motion, like a gimbal, no. Um, that would be very interesting, though. Uh, but no, we do not have, like, a gimbaled motion stabilization thing. Um, but we do have, like, auto XY, auto heading. Um, that basically changes the thrust to maintain uh, either an XY position, a depth position, an altitude position, or a heading. Um, and generally, when we're flying, though, we don't really we don't run by our autos, unless it's like right now I'm I'm helping the auto helping auto heading is helping me with just maintaining a my heading in the wind. But um, but usually, yeah, we don't really fly with autos uh, unless we're doing transects that are like grid like transects. Then that can be helpful. Another question about why we're using Atalanta today rather than Argus. Uh, Argus is having some thruster issues. Uh, we've got Argus on deck. Atalanta is serving the same purpose and doing a fine job at it. Mm -hmm. Even better, I'd say, because it's working. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Agreed. <sighs> Technically correct. That's kind of correct. Very true. How steep is this? Uh, it's pretty. It's a pretty good rise, but not not a wall. What's our? You can see the sonar in Atalanta is pretty clear. How do you do like, like, like rise over run? How do you get those figures to um, like from what we're looking at? Like, from, is it from high pack or something? The contours, for what the, are those? The slope? Are they 10 meter contours? Yeah, well, like, because if those are 10 meter contours and we know what the distance is, then we could do a little rise over run action. Yeah, yeah, so like those are 20 meter contours for Argus. And so you can see how far out it is. And then judging from, yeah, for both visuals and um, I guess we don't have sub bottom on it, but mm. it's pretty much just going by your sonar and kind of. Because Nia right did, an, did a calculation for it. She had like the, I don't know. She just referenced some things. I'm sure she was not going off of our sonar. You can do it here on high pack, probably high pack. Yeah. Too, yeah. Okay, Rod. Those black lines are, I think, 10 meter contours, right, Suleiman, or 20 or 10. Yeah. I think they were 10 think yesterday. Ten, ten, yes. Okay. And then the bar at the bottom shows like distance. Um, the 10 meters are, are that's that's vertical, and then the bar shows the horizontal distance. Okay. So that's like I don't know, 60 or something. Rod. So. 10, 30, 60 over 20.
We had a question about whether there were any midwater transects planned for this ex uh, expedition. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> we may come make another move. Bridge, this is now. Gotcha. We do a really long vertical midwater transect. Uh, another move, same step, please. So we do sometimes take uh, live specimens on these dives. Um, um, we're, we're selective. Consensus from Chris and chat. We can try a, try a scrape and slurp of the green bio when next time there's a sampling opportunity. And yes, we can. Yes. Let's give that a shot if we spot one. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think... Uh, Saka was asking for a zoom too on uh, what's this uh, Anthemastus heteropolypus. My great job, you <laughs> did it perfectly. What is that one again? Is it the mushroom that's a mushroom coral? Mushroom coral yeah. The I one to the lower left here. I don't see one in the frame right now, but we've been past. Oh yeah, there. I think in particular one with a really long stalk and orange color. Oh right, this one. This one does not fit that bill. You want to zoom on it while we're here anyway? Sure. Okay. Hey, look, it's a healthy Walteria. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and push yes, on it. Maybe there, they are tumbling down from above. That was just the Walteria graveyard. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> Chris. Go ahead and push it a little more in there. That's great. Nice. Ooh, that some little still ripping. bits on him. Little, I don't know, gastropods or those little snailies. The one up top looks as oh, the little two. pink guys. Yeah. Wow. Cool. All right, cool. I please. So he wants a different mushroom coral. Is that a little baby one under there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not the tiny one, maybe. Yeah, yeah it looks kind of like it. Yeah. I can see it in the bubble cam. That uh, orange coral. <laughs> <in the left. laughs> You're like, I'll oh, look for myself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need you. <laughs> exactly. I don't need you, HD. <laughs> go ahead and push out in there real quick. Ooh, I think it's an enemy. A little, little wide, please. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you I go. didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it at first either. What right are we there? looking at? You wanted, oh, you wanted the golden one, is that correct? Oh, I was saying oh, uh, that's um, being identified as a, oh, uh, that's a black, black coral, coral. storopathies. Raj. All right, well, let me know if you guys see any more mushroom corals with the... Thank you. What you want? Is that a crab hanging out on that uh, yeah. coral skeleton? Looks or like a, a galabeid okay. squat lobster. Okay. Oh, this is one of them, isn't it? It's a big dude. Is this one of the mushroom corals that oh, they wanted? Oh, yeah, that might yeah. be. That's a longer stalk. Okay, that looks different. All right, go ahead and push on in there, please. I've got the still cam up for you also. Awesome. Interesting that it's so pretty. That's definitely Dr. Seussian, isn't it? What do you totally, call these yeah. little dots in here? Like on a leaf, I'd call that the stomata. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. All right, is that good for you guys? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, thank you. All right, full wide, please. Tahinotus. Okay, right next to it is a poor Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. <laughs> 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 poor, poor coral. Ooh. We have coming up here in uh, the top left corner. Some marble terra, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of just two corals that we were looking at together for a second. Yeah. I swear we see a different color crinoid every dive, too. <laughs> Do we a lot have more any? loose stuff here. 
Do you have any guesses about why the sponges are all dead, or so many of them are dead? No. I wonder how long it takes for them to, like once they're dead, how long it takes for them to fall over or disintegrate. It's a good question. Like how long these have been dead. I mean, this one looks alive, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Our science team ashore is saying that we yes, we did zoom on the, the correct mushroom coral they were looking for. Reg. These are the mushroom corals you are looking for. <laughs> uh, Leela, uh, do you think yeah. this would be a good time to take uh, an eDNA yeah, sample? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it would be. Roger that. And one one and a half meters off the deck? Sure. I'm going to do it on the Kylie. fly. We can yeah. do a flyby. Yeah, on the fly. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure entirely how that would be affected by the current here, but um, just means we're not getting this community right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you see is not what you get. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a tug now. Okay. I have a full rack back. And I'm going to maintain position, so I'm going to keep flying around, but it'll be about two meters off the deck for you guys. Okay. Waiting on comms. Great. Roger. Comms. Red button. That's okay. There you go. And stand by one sec. All sure. Right. I am two and a half meters off. Raj. All right. Uh uh. Nice. Give it back. Sorry. <laughs> Try rotating it. Nice. I'm just gonna slip. It did Fired. it. Yeah, yeah, nice All right. Done. And that's two meters off. Okay. And I need to get caught up now. So we had a question about live samples. Um, when we get them up to the surface, what are they used for? And do we have to keep them under pressure? Nice. Is that too far outboard? No, I think you um, I will okay. answer that in one second. Yeah, I'm gonna secure valve and power. Uh, yeah, Raj. at least the valve. Okay. Keep moving. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Bridge, this is not another move. Same step, please. Oh, sorry, Val, I didn't confirm with you. But did you guys want to poke around here? I'm assuming not. Um, let's keep moving, Raj. A lot of loose stuff in here. So different the substrate. That bottle brush, Chrysler. A crowd. Those poor sponges, the Walteri just seem to be all be decaying. A little bit of black coral spread around, about the pathies maybe.
Um, okay. What was that last question, Chris? Um, what do we do with live samples when we get them to the surface, and do we keep them pressurized? Can we get a snap on that yellow-ish branching coral up there? Up at the yep, center top? Like anthemastus. Yeah. Sure thing. Or not anthemastus. Uh, uh, the other A1. Canthogorgia. Um, we do not keep them under pressure. They, uh, like I was explaining a little bit before, do not have gas-filled, air-filled chambers in their bodies, so they don't, like, explode upon ascent or anything. Um, we're not doing any studies. The, keeping them under pressure would be important if we were doing physiological studies up on, on the ship, um, since they would respond, certainly respond to the change in pressure. Um, but we're not doing any physiological studies, so we don't keep them under pressure. And right. when they get uh, up to the surface, we preserve them. Go ahead, um, Rick. Push on it, please. Preserve them, keeping in mind like what kinds of analyses scientists might want to do with them in the future. So some of it will always be in ethanol, 95% uh, ethanol, so that there can be genetic analyses done on them in the future. Um, wow. And if it's a voucher specimen, meaning like the first one of a certain species or taxon, we'll try and keep it whole and um, preserve, want, want to preserve the morphology and take really detailed notes of what it looks like before being preserved too, like what the colors are, um, and take pictures of everything and catalog it as best we can. And then they get sent off to a sample repository where other scientists can access them from. All right. All right. Asako, Asako is calling this a uh, cathogorgid. And she's asking for a zoom on the white one as well. So is that the one right behind it? Wow, look at that. Yeah, I think that's the M unit. Uh, the white one behind Why it? I never remember that name. OK. Asmolamia. Yeah, <laughs> and asmolamia. Yep. Thank Looks you. Looks like the consensus Ooh, that on that is a stylasterid. Yes. <laughs> oh. Did you guys notice all this bigger looking stuff to our Lower right? Back and right, yeah. Yeah, it looks like all this is on like rubble or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Downhill rubble. And it was this white one they wanted back here? Yeah, d yep. Or do you guys still, or science team, do you still want that? Seems beautiful pirouette. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Almost. Flicker, that flicker again is back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see that. Also, just doesn't see the coral anymore. Oh, oh it's tiny. Cup coral. Yeah. How much do they want this one? Uh, they've already named it, so I think it's I probably think, okay yeah, it's if probably it's too fine. challenging. Uh, I just need a different angle. I don't think they wanted to collect it or anything. Ooh, what's that swimming? Womp womp. Oh, yeah. Ooh. What is that? Well, oh, it's wow. going to feel good to get to waypoint two because waypoint three is right there. Feels like great progress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw that too, Christopher, but uh, now it's caught up in the. Uh... Okay, too deep for analapse. <laughs> yeah, glad you understood Are what you I was trying to say. Can I push on in there a bit, please? So I'm seeing a small coral here and the one to the lower right. There's one in the back that we, any one of these, or? Yeah, I think they were uh, talking about these two. You got a I'm decent sorry. look. The, that, that like, wait, it's behind, yeah. Yeah. Although that is like a weird spindly sponge looking situation on uh, the left. This or this? On the left, like a branching, babe, branching skinny Walteria looking oh, thing. there it goes. What is that? What is that? that that looks like a Halterian. <laughs> yeah. Alright, are we All good right. at this spot? I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Go wide, please. Yeah, was that a Halterian? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should start looking at the big screen. Where have you been looking? <laughs> Telestrator. I just like to draw pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's paining me not to be near the telestrator. It's probably for the best. Thanks for the update, Red. I'm going to push ahead a bit. 
for an uh, Atalanta. Roger. Just making a note. That another Holotherian we're passing? Does it? We don't yeah. have to stop. Just yeah, look like it. And some baby-looking Balasoma. That's a black coral on the left. We haven't seen yet. I think. Do you want to stop and take a look? It's okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. I was no, a I'm good. Bit You're no, good. I'm just commenting on things. Chris is saying that leggy one we were looking at yeah. is a weird Walteria, he thinks. Yeah, right? It looks like Walteria, but super skinny and spin like with legs. Oh, I missed the Colifocus sponge. We have a challenge. Not Balsoma, Colifocus, okay. 332. I don't know if it's been flying. If it may We're losing you, Kylie. Keep okay. moving. Um, yes, let's keep moving. Bridge, this is Nav. Another uh, step, same move, please. Here's um, another, another one of those longer mushroom, longer stocked mushroom coral. Yeah, Suleiman, I'm, uh, I am looking for uh, probably a geology grab here in the next few minutes, too. So I'll, uh, I'll shout that out as, as soon as... Um, I, I see something that uh, I kind of want. Sure, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of rubble around here. Roger that. Do you think it's close? Um, I think so. I'm not sure how much it's going to change once we uh, uh, get up toward this uh, local summit. Okay. It's already changing. We're speeding right anyhow uh, 0 0.2 of a note, so we can hold that any time. Yeah. Actually, um, would it be all right if we stopped here? This is Nav. Hold position here, please. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe the base of this uh, outcrop here, there was some decently sized, uh, loose looking stuff. But, uh, we also have something maybe here we can grab. If you'd like to yeah, do it. Yeah, is that okay for setting the ROV down? Sorry, I was muted. Um, yeah, oh, that's fine. Okay, cool. Just drive right into the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> the things we do for science. <laughs> drive into cliffs? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Get swept away by Correct, cliffs. we are. All right. Yeah, because these, these are going to be pretty close to uh, in place. Uh, so we have a pretty good idea that they're uh, related to this wall of lava here. Roger that. Lava walls. So yeah, I think um, either of these would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm on a spiel. My bad. Would this be go <laughs> would this be going in the starboard bio box? Uh, yes. How are you? Raj, raj, raj. <laughs> it is, and I'm still freezing. Oh, we so need gloves in here. <laughs> uh, all right. So you said you wanted this wee guy down here. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's not get that guy though. I said not you. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a nice size. Good. Oh, it's gonna come with it. Oh, no, we're gonna get some Yes, it is. Okay. At least I think it's dead. Hopefully. Hey Ryan, do you want a sample? 
<laughs> Do you want me to? It looks like it's actually attached to this rock. I Go ahead. And it's fine. We can yeah, bring it fine. in. We we. I don't think we knew definitively which Walteria that was, and you can tell that by the spicules. Go ahead and push on so. it, please. Thank you. Yeah, nice. We get a little sponge. A little yeah. sponge. Do a little twirl. All right, that's a nice piece of rock. That is a nice rock. <laughs> <laughs> Val approved. I right. love a happy geologist. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take much. I know. <laughs> so easy. That's why it's so great. All right, full wide, please. You want to show me the armpit? Armpit, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, is it okay for sample salvo? Yeah, that's true. Okay, thing. Hey, Raj. And coming out in the sample tray out. Roger that. It's full out. Raj. One of the smaller ones would be great. Roger that. <laughs> Let's do this. Raj, thank you. Can oh, I yeah. Exit? We're just stuck here. <laughs> this is our live. <laughs> Yes, because the ship kept moving, you know, so I just, and I can't turn my heading any further to keep it in picture. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think you're right. in progress. Cool. That is now in there. And uh, Reset my arm a little bit. We'll pop the rest of that sponge in there. Oh, we sure will. Did that go into D? It wasn't looking. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Thanks. I, I thought D was free, right? Yep, yep, all good. That's, deep. Cool That's great. Thank you. Down she goes. Sloop. And then you want to pop the box a little bit, and if that sponge doesn't go, I'll harass it. Yeah. And that is sample 36, Suleiman. Uh -huh. It's going to go. Suleiman, did you catch uh, the sights? Right. Hold Sam that. Sample Stand 36. By. Hold that there, Kylie. You want to open it a little bit? Yeah. And I'm falling off position, so. All right, great. Is that enough or you need more out? That's perfect. Raj. I'm just going to. Coerce it into the box. Something like that. All right, go ahead. Going if, in? It, as long as it breaks and doesn't go into F. Eventually it will go. Ahead go. Again. Yep. Open or close? Open a little bit. Out. Is it okay if it flows over an F or is that not desirable? Um not desirable, is it? You can <laughs> say okay that. If we Be honest with, with us, it's Sorry. okay. <laughs> what were you saying? No. Is it okay if it flows a little bit into F? Uh or I can try that's, breaking it here. That's fine. If it, if some goes into F, okay. Yeah, I think as, as long, long as, we, as don't we can keep it. Yeah, as long as we don't put any other sponges in there, I think it'll be okay. I think I broke it, so I think that's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so half it went to D, and the other half will just fall off. Go ahead and close it. Go in. Okay. That works. Val, do you have a favorite rock that you found on this expedition so far? They're all her favorite. You can't make her choose. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you have an answer, though. Don't you have an answer? I don't know. I guess you're drifted, so... Raj. I'm interested in learning more about some of the differentiated rocks that we picked up early Kay, yesterday. Can you come up on the winch there? Yeah. But I don't think oh, I have 19. a favorite yet. Yeah, but we got a... Oh, Raj. Raj, 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 Raj. All right, got a boogie. My favorite rocks are the ones that tell me about the mantle. So like Cut all up. of these. Yeah, what's the inside of the earth doing? <laughs> what's it doing in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these volcanoes are uh, kind of the only probes we have into the earth's interior. That's cool. Yeah. We also had a question about whether we've seen any ancient coral that are coated with manganese. I haven't seen that. Um, in any of our samples, but uh, 
I was on a cruise in 2013 where we cut open a uh, manganese nodule that we recovered as part of a dredge, and we expected to find a small chunk of basalt in it. And instead, we found um, we found she's uh, I'm blanking on the name. Uh, basically, a snail shell. Oh, cool. cool. Oh, um, you're talking about ooh. Yeah, talk about it. start with an A. Oh, I think I I'll remember this. Ammonite. No, not an ammonite. It wasn't um, an ammonite. No, gastropod. That's Ga what I was looking oh, for. Oh, gastropod. Yeah. That sea star is really climbing up. Yeah, it's archived somewhere at uh, Oregon State. Oh, uh, is it at the Oregon State Geolo Geological Repository? Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to go look up which dredge, though. I'd, it's been too long. Do you want yep. a quick uh, snap zoom on that sea star on the sp d dying sponge there? or? I think you're a fan of sea stars. I think that's what... What's the Oop. thing here? Did we need a Niskin bottle at this location because we just took a rock sample? Um, um, not no, for yours. This, this was a geo sample, so okay. we're good. I'm not seeing anything from our scientists ashore. It's probably mm. okay to move on. I think so. Yeah. All right, Swan, we are okay. ready for your moves. Keep moving so you can catch up and then we'll get the ship to move. Approach this is nav. Another move, same step, please. I wonder what we're going to see at the top of the slope break. It's a cool little bubble pocket right there. Yeah. yeah. That, that whip coral type thing that we just saw looked not like the... It didn't look like the pulps were the same as the... Um, I said a D that we saw earlier. It almost looked like a primnoid whip coral. Maybe if we see one of those again, we could zoom. What's that? Yeah, that was kind of a weird pinkish on that back of that bacteria. Mm -hmm. huh? That cool basket star. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think this tiny little orange thing is right there? Hmm, I don't know. Is that a sucked in mushroom coral? Yeah, maybe. Go ahead and push on in there real quick. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Full wide, please. Looks like it had just one polyp out. <laughs> He's a wee one. <laughs> Only half awake. Still needs his coffee. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you have a comment that uh, if the sponge we just sampled is unnamed, we should suggest something with chola in it because it looks like a chola cactus. Chola cactus? From mm. Arizona. Where person comes from. That's an interesting little uh, community there. I have a question about what does it mean when our pilots say Raj? It's like Roger. <laughs> just short. Oh, did you want, we Raj. just passed another kind of wire looking coral yeah, on the left. Did you I want to take a look at that? I missed that one. Is it, is it possible Pilots? Uh, yeah, sorry. There's a wire looking. Was there one, like an unbranched coral somewhere if we you, just passed if on the you left? Shit pan left just a little bit. You'll see a little whip right there up at the top yeah. of our screen. The There's two, bamboo actually. coral? These? these two? Yeah. Did one of those match what you were looking at? Uh, I can't tell from here if that was. These look sort of like the bamboos from earlier, but there was one that had like different polyp shape that I think looked like a, um, like a primnoid. Yeah, these are the bamboos again. Okay. 
but thanks for looking. So we're good on those? Yeah. Okay. We're good. Roger that. Good, oh, good. yeah, Chris, I bet that is... Uh, oh, he didn't use dredge samples? Okay. That would be really challenging as a biologist, just picking away at what comes up in a dredge. That tends to mangle biology when it comes up with the rocks like that. Wow, look at that That's a big star. basket star, yeah. <laughs> that is... That also looks like some kind of bamboo, maybe. Man, this is not even flying. And the at back all. is a primnoid. Oh, are we fighting the current again? Oh, we've been fighting it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> More, because we're we're coming up uh, toward a local summit, so I'm not sure if it's gonna get worse. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, okay. No, I'll be good. Okay. No worries. She just makes it look easy. True. Yeah. Nah, are you kidding? This is all jumpy flying today, guys, but we'll get it better tomorrow. Um, but Whoa, that is pretty. Whoa. Yeah, oh, these are some big There's primnoids. More. There's more. Cool. Actually, now I'm like not sure it's a primnoid anymore. Now it looks, I don't know, that's hard should to we, tell. Should we take a moment, look yeah, a little closer? Maybe yeah, maybe zoom. What are that's those? just pretty anyways. All right, let me get a set of... All right, go ahead and start a partial zoom. That's great. What's there at the base of the the larger one? It's a chrysogorgid. Oh, you mean way at the base? Um, right where the lasers are. That's a chrysogorgid. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there any? Is that full zoom? No. Negative. I'm just getting a oh yeah sure square up on the shot. But looks like that might be as square as I'll get it. Um, go ahead okay, and push Steve on says, it a bit. Yes, that's a primnoid. I seem to have disconnected yeah. from the science chat. So pretty. Okay. There we go. That's not Norella because it has too many too many branches not in one plane. What is it, Steve? You want to come a little wide, please? That's good. I want to see if I can sit down here so I can get a stable shot for you. Calagorgia. Go full wide, please. Calyptrophora. I'm amazed that sponge is holding up that basket star. I feel like this looks like Calyptrophora. Also looks like the manganese crust is picking up again here, where it's a lot of that flow okay. that, that we were over had thinner crusts. All right, go ahead and push on it. Do you want us to look at the, the one in the foreground here? I think we're, I think we're all, all good after this. We figured out what it is. Raj. Thanks. So the one. They're, but they're the same, right? Yeah, Sergio? they're both the same. So all good. Roger that. You guys get back there, Saints? I think so. I think so. Roger that. Full aid, please. Cool coral. Extremely. Do, do you, do you? Can you talk a little bit about what a primnoid is? Um, it is a type of Gorgonian soft coral. What's, what's the Look experiment? at that now, weird what is that yeah. sponge doing? It has a growth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's budding off. No, it's not. <laughs> that is bizarre. That is strange, yeah. All right, go ahead and push on in, please. Let's get there. Yeah, that's really interesting. That's interesting, yeah. I think I see a squat lobster in that growth, too. Good eye. I like strange. this guy. It looks dead, but it also doesn't look dead. <laughs> is it dead? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's alive. Because when they alive. look like this, they like oh, it, like with the structure being hollow like that. They're but they're usually gray and dirty looking, and they're dead. Do you think he's sick? Science no, chat. Pretty, pretty I don't helpful. know. I am interested. <laughs> Mm. 
All right, so it looks like we're coming up over uh, that slope break as well as coming up on a uh, shift change in a few minutes, about nine minutes from now. Wow, this is a neat little garden. Wow. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Diverse. No, that's totally fine. This is cool. That is very cool. Cool little section and that view from the with the bamboo is pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's quite alive. Christopher Kelly said it's really alive, quite alive. Quite alive. A, a goiter, what's a, but that's, that's not the kind of sponge. Oh, he is, was right? joking about oh. the, uh, yeah. Rot. Okay. Shape. The, As the context, <laughs> the odd sponge. I love that. What kind of sponge was it? Walteri or Walteria. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything here. Yeah. yeah. What is that kind of bright thing in the? Right there, is that just white that's getting a little reflective? It might be, yeah, just really white. Yeah, now that we get closer, it just looks like a connection point. Oh, with a little bit of coral still attached. Walteria Fleming. Oh my gosh, writing that down for future reference. That was that cool sponge. Wait, that's a person. <laughs> oh, it just came up with Walther Fleming. Walteria. Walteria Fleming. It sounds like an existential crisis. Am I a person or am I a sponge? <laughs> uh -huh. hey, hey, Val, you have a colleague question here. What would I call this kind of geologic landscape? Um, it's a lot of debris around here, uh, but this looks like... Uh, it also looks like... We're kind of on top of a lava flow. It's, it's a little hard to tell. Who is hanging out on the edge of that? Yeah, that sea star is just sort of playing <laughs> on the edge. <laughs> is that like a dead bamboo stalk? Looks like it's been Sorry a little much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. It does look like it got munched already. I don't see any polyps or anything. So it looks like uh, some of these corals are anchoring on some rock that appears to be in place lava. Appears to be, but there's also a lot of debris that's been sitting around for a long time looking at how uh, smoothed over some of the manganese crusting is. Yeah, that sea star ate the whole coral, Chris is saying. Must have, and that's just dangling out the end. Cool. Thanks. All right, go ahead and push on in there, please. Thanks, Chris Kelly. Which thing are we looking at? This C guy. Okay. Oh, look at him. Look at that little sea star. He's yeah. full. He's looks full. looks like a dragon. Full wide, please. <laughs> <laughs> he does look really full. So we yeah. are at the... I'm going to push out in front and give him a hand over. Thanks. All right, so if you're watching the live stream, you might be hearing a little extra conversation in here. We're just working on a shift turnover. Yeah, every one of these dives has been pretty uh, unique so far.
All right, I am handing it over to Annabelle, so I'm signing off. All right, hi everybody out there watching. Um, we have switched and we are now on four to eight watch. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you were already here and you stepped away. Yeah, okay. Well, ROV is ready for moves. Someone's got a speaker on. Uh, give me one second. Whoa, I am very loud. Why am I so loud? Okay. Uh, Lynette, what move are you going to put in? What was the move you were going to put in? Looks great. Let's do that. Why do I sound like I'm echoing? Yeah. I, uh, Steve's working on it. I'm clear. Okay.
Which direction are we going as we continue to explore the ridge? Just want to update me quickly. Northwest. Awesome. Thank you so much. Does it always take my chat so long to load? Uh, Diane, can you tell yep. me what uh, kind of sampling space we have? Yeah, we've got a lot of sampling space left, Beth. Uh, we've got one in the forward box here that is dual purpose, you and Val. We've got a Val rock here, and we've got two Niskins that have been fired. So okay. got a lot of open space. Yeah. Um, I would love to try and use the slurps a little bit more if we come across bio um, that we would like, but it doesn't seem like yesterday's dive. No, it does not. A lot less density up here. Yeah. Yeah. I was well, we're at a quite a bit deeper depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's the oxygen compared to last night's? Uh, I was just going to look at that, actually. It's quite a bit higher. Okay. So and yesterday, a lot more current. yesterday we had about uh, eleven to fifteen, yeah, micromolar, and we're up at eighty right now. Oh, that's mm. a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's a big difference. That's more like the first dive that we did in yeah. terms of oxygen. Mm -hmm. But that makes sense because we're at yeah. deeper depths. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, maybe one of these will actually load. Do you have it up? Okay. Pilots, is there anything you would like in those two blank boxes on your monitors? Dealer's choice. Ashton, anything? Can you tilt your screen this way until Roger I get this that. open? Thanks. For people tuning in from all over, the world. Um, this is the unnamed Western Ridge um, dive, and it's uh, near the bifurcation point of uh, Kalani, if I'm not mistaken. So we are just continuing to explore. So send in some questions if you got them. So background, in case you weren't already up to speed on this, the current is hot down here. Yeah. It is oh. all the way going. So you can see, are you able to see Rovnev back there, the black navigation screen? Uh, no, but I can see over, yeah, I can see it, you pointing at it. Yeah, we're I can, yeah, we've 75 got a, meters behind the ship. Yeah, I noticed that on high pack too, that uh, oh, there's quite course, a bit of difference course, yeah. between the ship's position and where the ROVs are. Totally, yeah. So, yeah, it's been a little fun, but uh, we're navigating it. Okay, and is it coming head on? It's coming about, or yeah, about head on which way I'm facing, not yeah, which way right. I'm bearing. Yeah, right, so from yeah. the northeast. Northeast, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks, Annabelle. Yeah, so definitely different coral and sponge communities than we were seeing yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of variety, but uh, much less dense, yeah. Okay. Um, Trevor, when we have some pennies in the bank, can we <laughs> sit down and have a look and see how these rocks look? Sure. If they're good sampling candidates? If, if we held position right here, we would be fine. Uh, but Or I'd have to be quick. Your call. Uh, held position in terms of stop the ship's move? Correct. Yeah, let's do that okay. just for a moment. I was looking way up. Interesting. That was a lot steeper than I had expected. Can you please turn on porch light? Yeah, porch light coming on. Wonderful, thank you.
Do you want to take a sample here, Beth? Um, let's get some partial zooms, just so I can get a feel for the texture of these rocks. Okay, go ahead, Steve. Can I get front porch view on there, please? Yes, sorry about that. Hmm. What does your heart tell you? They're not as crusty looking as I would think. Some of them are. Um, yeah, like, can we get a, a closer zoom on this one? Yeah, maybe. I know it's too big. I just want to look at Go it. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, I don't think that's too big. No? Okay. Um, Should I poke it? Uh, not yet. Um, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, um, Steve, <laughs> you can back out just a little bit. All right, we still have some of these really angular rocks, but some that are more shiny and rounded. Um, oh, hey, Kira. It's good to see you in our Scientist Ashore portal. Um, that rock I was just looking at, does that look like a fun target for you? Kind of looks like it might have some crusty bits, um, as opposed to some of the other ones nearby. Like these look like they're really angular, and I don't know how much crust they would have on them. But something like this might be a good target. Mm -hmm. um, okay, yeah, Trevor, let's give it a try. Let's come see on, if we can come on and poke that one and see if it'll come out. Roger that. Beth, you'd like this one in the forward box for you. Uh, it doesn't have to be for me specifically. Um, we're collecting samples for crust for multiple reasons. Okay. It doesn't just have to be a microbiology sample. Uh, I've lost the plot here. Where are we going? Sorry. We are going to Charlie, starboard Charlie. I mean, where which rock are yeah, we? Yeah, which rock are we looking at? I think it was this one. Do you want to zoom in again there, Steve? Yes, it was that one. They're like children. I just you gotta know what they look like. <laughs> Once Little you see them, you can't forget. Rocky children. Yeah. Hey, stubborn as children too. Okay, gotta do some pry action here. There we go. Goodbye visibility. <laughs> that is the nice thing about working in high current areas. Yeah, right. Especially if it's coming Ooh, right look at us. Look at that grip. That is tenuous. Hoi. <laughs> nice. Yeah, can we get some glamour shots, please? Oh, wow, look at the underside. Very dusty. Yeah, so some of the rocks we picked up last night also had this kind of chocolatey brown. Yeah. Um, yeah. Val and I were talking about whether that's an indication of a... Okay, come wide, please. ...different rock type than just uh, the basaltic environments that we might expect. Um, oh. oh! Wow, that broke. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Huh. Uh, that was, I was trying, just trying to re-grab it, but it broke. Do you still okay. want this piece, or do you want me to get another one? No, I think we can find some other ones. Okay. Um, so Sorry, we'll, we'll, let, uh, we'll let the cloud clear a moment, and then uh, find some other pieces that might wow. be good candidates. I guess, note to self, they're fragile. Are they, do you expect them all to be that fragile? Um, my expectations have not been met on this cruise in terms of what I think I'm going to get <laughs> and what we get. <laughs> uh, so Roger. I'm going to not hazard a guess here. Roger that. Um, okay. okay. Uh, let's this one? Well, we know it's loose. Um, Steve, can we get a, a closer zoom into that rock? Go ahead. Yeah, so this... Somewhat similar. I've got this orangish brown. The one right behind it, um, Trevor, right here, has this nice botryoidal texture. I wonder if we can get that one or Ooh, if it's too in situ. Let me try twice more before we abandon all hope. So Kira just chimed in and said, probably ferromanganese on oh carbonate yeah. rock, which is why it move. crumbled and broke. Ah. Did I see it move or am I just? I thought, I it, thought yep. it moved. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Hmm. That's not quite what I thought would happen. All right, Kira, I'm circling on the telestrator here. Is that what you're referring to? Nope. 
Um, Steve, while we're sitting here, can we get a closer view of this piece that broke off? Hmm. That looks pretty altered. Okay, uh, back out a little bit, Steve, please. Um, okay, Trevor, let's try for this piece right here. This piece, okay, maybe I'll just down the, down the grip force a little. Not put it in crush mode. Ah, wow. Wow. I could go wow. I could go gentler still. That was uh six. Yeah, incredibly wow, friable here. Incredibly yeah. friable, yeah. Six beans. Six beans. Six of nine beans. You we can go all the way down to one. Um That's a very loving grip for a rock. Yeah, Number it's one. a very fragile rock, I guess. I don't know. We have to be sensitive. Um okay, can we back out just a little bit, Steve? And can you, um, Trevor, can you pan left just a little bit, please? And then can we get a partial zoom in this area? Yeah. I don't know how well you can reach over there, Trevor. So well. Okay. Let's try this one. Uh, why don't I fragilize the grip force one more time? Let's go to three. I don't know. Okay. Can we get some glamour shots, yeah, please? Yeah. Stay out of it there for a sec, Steve. Uh, that's okay. Oh, there's a friend attached to the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, should we take this? Yeah, it's got a little bit of the botryoidal texture, not as much as some of the other ones, but I think it'll still be a good candidate. Okay, come wide, um, please. W let's put this in the um, starboard bio box, please. Okay. Uh, right. That's going to be C, Charlie. Charlie. All right. Can you show me a bubble craft arm? Yes. Okay, and box out. Nothing floaty, I don't think. Just a sponge, right? All right, bio box coming out. Is there anything floaty in the bio box? No. Okay. We're aiming for Charlie. Yeah, good there. Okay, sample taken. Nice. And Who's this dive bonk? is 12 and a half hours, too, or around 12 hours? About 12 hours. Yeah. We should be coming up uh, in about eight hours, a little gotcha. less than eight hours. If all things go the way as planned. Right. <laughs> all things constant and good. Okay, shall we move? Yes, please. We can go ahead and put that ship's move back in. Okay. Bridge, nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing three two five, please? Thank you. Mm, someone's just wants a reminder of how far the laser dots are um, on Hercules, and I think that's ten centimeters. But ten correctly. centimeters, that's ten correct. Ten centimeters. All right, fantastic. Yes. Yeah, so those uh, help us sort of get an idea of how big things are down there, because we can't uh, sort of Shake out a ruler, so that helps us. <laughs> Such a weird Atalanta view. That's to terrible. Like look down so far I'm that you're sorry. looking backwards. That's great. <laughs> it's really exciting, actually. <laughs> really exciting. That current's really getting away with me over here. Yeah, absolutely. And we've got a little bit of a obstacle nearby looking at the sonar, so I'm trying to stay high. Yeah. Uh, someone's wondering what types of crustaceans and cephalopods have we seen so far. I don't 
Have we seen a lot of those so far? I don't think so. The only crustaceans we've seen have been, you know, squat, squat lobsters, lobsters and <laughs> uh, crabs. Um, I do not believe we have seen cephalopods. Yeah, I don't think so on either. This cruise yet, but we'll definitely keep an eye out. Uh, steepish, steepish, yeah, 45 degrees. Are we going to go up that way? We're not, we're going to keep laddering along that, right? Yeah. Okay. Do we want to be more on top of the ridge? Or do you like this kind of hidden behind the lee side of it? Uh, no, we question. can get up to that ridge uh, if that might require getting the ship to move at a slightly different trajectory. Totally, yeah. Um, well, we can do that. It's what it, wherever you want to go, right? So if we wanted to go up the ridge, that is totally cool. Um, yeah, Lynette, can you put it when the next ship's move, can you try to angle us to get her over what we think is the line of the ridge? Yeah, I can do that. Awesome. For whatever reason, during that sample stopped time, Atlanta swung 20 meters closer to the ship from how far streamed out it was before, so kind of wild. We are everywhere. I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of weird angles of uh, Herc tonight. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Isn't that what you would typically expect, that the sled sl swings closer to the ship when we're stopped? Uh, well, we were... Yeah, I don't know how to put this into words. Okay. <laughs> it didn't swing in the direction that we were moving. It swung 90 degrees off the direct direction we were moving. Which is weird. Hmm. All right. Uh, putting a call out to my animal experts that are watching this dive to remind me what some of these whip-like structures are that we're seeing. Can I please get a now reset? If they're primnoids, or are they um, leptothica? The one bottom right there, yep. Walteria flamingi. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm not. Not that one. Yeah, okay. the Walteria, I know. It's the other ones, the corals, that look like, kind of like ropes floating in the water. Bamboo corals? Thank bamboo you, Bamboo corals. <laughs> I was just about to ask. Um, are we able to circle so in today? any of these? What's that? The, are we able to circle any of these as you guys talk about them for people who are watching so they can know? Uh, yeah, right now in this frame of view, there's not the either of the two things that we were just discussing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, circle them, circle them. Yeah. <laughs> um, but next time we see them, I will. Okay, fantastic. That way people can keep up. Yeah, and we might even try. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Ryan. Sit a day. Well, there's so many of them. Okay. I love how Ryan's comment has an exclamation point. He's like, they're bamboo corals. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. We're like, yes. I'll have to zoom in on some of them once we sight one. <laughs> so this looks like one, uh, potentially. I'll wait till we get a little closer. Yeah. So we we're just discussing bamboo corals. This There's one now. One nice. is likely that. Uh, over here we have kind of a more of a, I think, a bottle brush. You want to zoom on this bamboo? Sure, we can get a partial zoom. Yeah, sure, go ahead, Steve. So our audience at home, if they might be new, let's see what we're talking about. Uh, the feature that helps them be described as bamboo coral is that if you get even closer, you would see often that there's kind of like little banding structures Ooh. that kind of resemble 
bamboo. Yeah. It's a little, it's very faint on this one. Um, thank you, you can Kay, come, wide. come wide. Yeah, thanks. Do we know why they sort of, so they're sort of singular, but I feel like when a lot of people think of corals, they think of grouped animals and these are sort of by themselves. Sure. Do we sort of know why that is? Well, they're still yeah, colonial animals. Mm -hmm. So each one of those little flower looking things uh -huh. off to the side is a different polyp yeah, three zero sounds of great. the colony. Um, it looks like we might have some black coral in there too. Little Are one. Are you thinking straight north? Are you thinking directly over? Do, do, do. Yeah, okay. Cool. Sure. Reminding myself. Schizopathy. Okay. Oops. Okay. Bridge, nav. Can we move four zero meters bearing three zero, please? Thank you. So Shelby, in the frame of you, mm -hmm. these are, were, <laughs> Walteria. <laughs> they don't uh, look to be alive. Zoom in real quick there, Steve. Just do a quick passing zoom. So that, is that like leftover skeleton? Yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. It looks like, like a, I don't know, bas like weaved basket material mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, wow, it's a really interesting structure. It is. They're all over. They're all to the left here, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've seen them the whole dive, these yeah. Walteria features. We've okay, also thanks, seen Steve. them alive. <laughs> we haven't just seen them. <laughs> They're not only like dead this. guys. They are alive out there. Yeah. Um, so prolific, but um, over different time scales. And then just quick check-in from around the world. We, of course, have uh, some folks from the U.S. checking in. Canada, Portugal, uh, Australia, Ireland, uh, the U.K., Norway, the Philippines. So thank you to everyone diving with us today. Uh, Prim Noid there on your right. Yep. Oh, there's so many. So that mushroom coral down there in the lower right that's fading out. Uh, Chris Kelly just wrote in, and uh, Anthomastis, Tanadonis, the orange mushroom coral. Yeah, folks are wondering if we have any guess as to the average age of the corals at this depth. I know I'm not sure, but I don't know if anyone else chimes in or... Um, Anyone ashore? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Want to take a guess? <laughs> it's really, really hard to know. Yeah. Um, we didn't even have an idea of what this feature exactly. even looked like <laughs> until this morning when we mapped it. Um, but I'm sure that'll be something that, for the specimens that we do collect, yep. someone can look into that. I think the other day we at uh, this similar depth, not yesterday's dive, but the previous one, there was a coral that was about a meter long. And one of our scientists chimed in that it could be over a thousand years old. Speaking oh. of one meter corals. Yeah, we got some bigger ones oh, coming into view here. So that's a live Walteria, shall we? Nice. I was getting a little sad there. Yeah, there's a couple <laughs> of them. There's another one right there. There's several of them coming up. A large primnoid. Yep. These big white ones. I'm not sure what the pink one is.
Yeah, a lot of, a lot of diversity here, different yeah. types. Here's a great little spot here. Just beautiful. Can you wow. zoom in on this guy, please? That looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's a great color palette. Yeah. I'm going to slowly work my way up. Ooh. Do we know the names of these? Or this particular type of coral? Yeah, Chris Kelly's just writing in with some of that info. Great. Uh, um, can we, is it possible to get a slightly tighter zoom on some of those polyps yeah, on this wide, big please? one? This big kind of pinkish? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's see what I can do here. Ooh, it's tight. Pali Caliopterphora primnoid. But that's the primnoid, it's not what mm -hmm. we're looking at right now. Not, the, yeah. Okay, zoom in there, Steve. On the right. See if you can get a polyp zoom. Yeah, it's a little hard in this current. They're just wiggling all around. Yeah, I'm pretty far away too. There's a lot of those mm -hmm. spiky glass basket things it's okay. in front of me. Do the best we can. Yeah. Especially if we get some stills, then folks at home can look later and see what the uh, That's a nice branching order is and mm -hmm. the location of the polyps. That is just lovely. Beautiful color. Yeah. Internodal branching. Somebody's wondering, do they compete for food? I'm assuming yes. Um, we can go ahead and <laughs> okay, uh, come back out, Trevor. Thank you. Everybody does in the deep. Yeah, so the one of the important ecosystem functions that coral and sponges have in the deep sea is that they provide 3D structure for other animals to get up into the water <laughs> where the food is. Um, some of them are probably competing, but often they're uh, just taking advantage of the space. Mm. All right, we're definitely getting into some higher density here. Yeah, I'm wondering yeah, if it yeah. might be worth firing an eDNA, um, Ooh, especially yeah. with the current coming at us like this. That's a good idea. Yeah, before we get right over the edge yeah. of the ridge there. Oop, let me just smash everything. All right. Do you want to do that? Yes, please. Okay. That is going to be Niskin 3. Niskin 3. Can I see craft arm and bubble, please? Absolutely. Trevor, we are 2.6 meters off bottom. Are you happy with this? Yes. Okay, here we go. Niskin fired. Yeah. Trevor, you're getting some props from uh, our audience watching oh, at home uh, for your commentary on the internodal branching. Oh, cool. learned everything I know from scientists who've come out here, so they're the ones to thank. Okay, front porch view on bubble, please, and we'll move on. Yeah, so good call bringing us up to the ridge, Trevor. It definitely seems to be a bit higher density now that we're yeah. up on this. So I'm wondering if we want to start changing our trajectory more back to the northwest. Yeah, I think that was the plan, right? Yeah. Okay. You're muted. Yo, yeah, Lynette, we can't hear you. Are you mid one or mid two? Silent mode. Whoops, sorry. Three, three, five? Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Bridge nav. 
Can we move five zero meters bearing three three five, please? Thank you. Video, can we get high pack on channel three, please? Thank you. For anybody watching from home, just to help orient you to where we are, we're exploring a very recently mapped <laughs> ridge type feature uh, just to the northwest of um, you give me a the presumed junction slide, of the Lilio Kalani Ridge. Um, Thank you. And we're diving on a series of summits that are kind of all in a row oriented south, southeast, and north, northwest. So in high pack, you can see, uh, which is a channel three, it's our uh, navigation information. You can see the location of the ship and the red line is an indication of where Hercules has been on the seafloor. And you can also see the heading of Hercules with that kind of compass feature that's pointing to the just off north. Um, so you can see that we're these contour lines are just like you would see on a map on land, showing you that we're kind of on a, a ridge feature, and we're moving north-northwest to follow that ridge feature up to our second waypoint. Okay. So again, a lot of these decaying Walteria, but also some live ones. Mm -hmm. We got a live one. Walteria are sponges, correct? Yes, Glass correct. sponges? Probably. Oh, well, that's a good question. I always forget the answer to that. I can't remember the other type. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Uh, demo sponges are the other type. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, Here's a glass sponge now. See the family. Yes, it is a type of glass sponge. All right. Yep. Little recap from yesterday. Somebody was just wondering how the starfish did when it got back to the surface. The starfish was definitely in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was good. That, that is a, um, we have had on other expeditions, starfish decide to leave the box. <laughs> at some time during the dive or recovery. So it's always nice to actually see it <laughs> come your, back. Your emergency exits are that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, Interesting. Yeah, and that we targeted that sea star because we thought it was, um, it was a group that was on our wish list, mm -hmm. something where taxonomic placement isn't quite clear. Um, so we'll be sending that to the Museum of Comparative Zoology so that experts can try to figure that out. Awesome. All right, many different colors and types of corals here. Cool Atlanta shot right now. Yeah. Yeah, the Atlanta shots, <laughs> this whole dive have been really great. Doing a great job, Ashton. Yes, Ashton, you're killing Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Day three. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm just happy when it's in view. <laughs> Looks like there's some... Uh, can we pause for just a second yep. and look down, Trevor, where you just were? It looks like there's a lot of small, maybe cup corals down here I'd okay. like to get a look at. Let's have a gander. Oh, they're all over this rock. Oopsies. Okay, Steve, zoom in there, please. Might be a little bouncy. I'll do my best. Yeah. Look at those. Oh, wow. But they're all over the place. Oh, oh so good cute. eye. Do you want me to hold position? Yeah. Uh, We're not no. sampling. I'm We're not sampling. Okay. I just wanted to ha confirm that that's what I was looking at. Okay. Thanks, Steve. You can come wide again. 
they're all up there, Rock. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. You said cup corals, bud? I think that's what they're called. They really look like little anemones. I know that's not what they are, but they look like little, like the ones you find at the beach tide pools. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're getting confirmation from our experts ashore that they were yep. indeed cup corals. Cup corals. Can Hello, experts. Gorges. Nice. Someone's wondering, since we saw so many basket stars um, yesterday, if they sort of wander around until they find the corals to sort of settle on, or are there larvae like on there and they grow up on the coral? They're kind of wondering how they get all um, sort of entwined on the coral because we saw so many yesterday. Uh, I don't think the experts to answer that question are in the van at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> if if anyone's on shore is listening. <laughs> un, uh, you know, understanding larval behavior of deep sea animals oh, is really difficult. Cool animals. Speaking of baby larva, zoom in there, please, Steve. Oh, what is that? Oh. What is that? It's such a jelly. <gasps> Maybe. Oh. Ah. Mm, looks like a satellite. I know. Oh, I did. Yeah. All right, I'm going to bail before I hit something. Yeah. Otherwise. Thanks. Oh. I just saw it. I was like, what's that blurry spot? <laughs> oh, it's alive. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we might have some hemichorallids here. Can you get a partial zoom on this while we're going by? Yeah, we can. Uh, might be a little far away, but we'll do yeah, what just I can here. Partial. Go ahead, Steve. Thank you. That's enough? Yeah. All right. Come All wide. kinds of stuff in this yeah. frame of view. Bulteria. Bulb mushroom brush. coral. Yeah, mushroom coral. That's something for everybody. <coughs> Chrysogorgia there, though. Continue moving up the ridge? Yes, please. Okay. Seems like a, a good trajectory. Bridge nav. Can we have another move five zero meters bearing three three zero, please? Thank you. I love these shots where you can just see these large coral fans in the distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just yeah. as far as the eye can see. A looming out there. Mm -hmm. Is that a little fish down there on the right? No, I don't see a fish. Where do you see a fish? Oh, fish? Hiding. yeah, I think so. Zoom Hidey, in, please, Steve. Fish. Really? Good eye, Diane. Yeah. Whoa. Good eye. Wow. Oh, man. Nice what one. I oh, look. Oh, that. what is that? What is that? That's a fish. Well, <laughs> it's just the tail of the fish. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's in. It's hiding half of it. Yeah. yeah. You can't see me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Some of these cup corals are right, just totally white, white. Like maybe they're not mm -hmm. alive anymore. Are cup coral cup corals also colonial? Is it, or is that one? Oh, I like that question. That's a good question. That's a good question. I do not know the answer to that. Uh, it seems like they'd be one polyp, you know? That's just it like. It looks like that, but I wonder if we zoom in if there's like 10 polyps around that. Yeah, hard to say. Hard to say for us. Us people. <laughs> it's a very large toppled stalk coming up on the left here. Yeah, really long. Oh, wow. Oh. There's the 10 centimeter lasers for a scale. That's probably, what, two meters? Yeah, it looks like it was uh, some kind of glass sponge. Oh, wow. That maybe mm. didn't survive. We got. It looks like there's a different kind of sponge that's going to come into our view to the left here in just a moment. Yeah. See it right off there to the side? Oh, the little round one. I don't think we've seen that yet on this dive. Oh. Good catch. Let's go check it out. Uh, our scientist expert ashore, Steve Auskovich, says that cup corals are usually solitary polyps, but they can sometimes grow in a higher density, called pseudo-colonial. 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 High-density okay. housing. Pseudo-colonial. Okay, zoom in, 
<laughs> a lot of folks are chiming in, also agreeing that they're um, one polyps or solitary. So it looks like a lot of people are familiar. Yeah, so we got a lot of experts yep. with us. Great. <laughs> I love it. Glass sponge. Pseudo colonials like having roommates. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come wide, please. Did anybody get to see the fur hat sponge in the wet we, lab? Oh, yeah. Oh, it yes. was much heavier and much more dense than I imagined. Really? It wasn't just full of water. It was very dense and cool. fleshy and yeah, you should oh. take a, take a look at it. It's uh, it's really unlike a lot of the sponges I've seen. Cool. Uh, nice. Much heavier. Yeah. Was it still furry yes. once it came up? Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. It reminded me of an artichoke heart. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> okay. It seemed pretty dense when Trevor was cutting it. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like we had to really get in there. It was possibly more dense than the carrot cake. <laughs> 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 and as great comparison. Yeah. This <laughs> is delicious. In yeah. case our audience is new, yesterday was Stephen's birthday. Yeah, cake. Today's Steve's normal day. <laughs> normal day. I, I love that joke. I don't know who wrote that up, but that's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Really nice coral structures, fan structures up ahead of us. Um, yeah, quite a diversity of things. Steve is commenting that the sponge we're referring to that we collected yesterday when it's drying, can have a very distinct odor. Mm. Um, oh. Yes. And uh, we have one drying on the lab counter, <laughs> and we'll see if we can attest to that. We also have pieces preserved in other ways. It was a very, very big chunk that we it collected, was. so we were able to subsample it in a variety of ways. Are corals and sponges ever edible? Uh, I don't think you would want to eat a sponge. Yeah, I don't think that would be very would tasty. <laughs> it would maybe hurt. <laughs> would hurt. They kind of look like the mushrooms of the sea sometimes, <laughs> so it leaves you wondering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're all we're all assuming Ashton meant by humans. But yes, what if, what by what humans. If, what if not? What if, I think they're edible by other animals. That's I don't know about. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like I've heard of. Uh, what, what is the word? Coral, coral livery, right? Organisms that eat corals. Oh, yeah. But I do mm -hmm. not know about sponge <laughs> or bivory. <laughs> 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 oh, speaking of, look at that nice stock yeah. sponge we got ahead of us. Oh, wow. I'm going there now. Ah. So can we maybe yeah. guess that the one that we saw earlier that was sort of dead and laying down was maybe a... Something like this. Yeah. yeah. And maybe this is what it looks like when it's nice and vibrant and alive. Ooh, we'll have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> it is out of reach. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll wait for Let's our ship's move get to get us stills. closer. Uh, in the Let's meantime, I'll try to figure out what out. it is. Interesting observation for the uh, pilots. This is wide open on the mini Zeus on Atalanta. So Are you talking just, Iris? As, yeah, it's as bright as we can go on that. Yeah. It's interesting. There's a couple lights off. Yeah. Actually, could you turn light bank two off? Because that doesn't do anything. That's our spare channel. You can play around with whatever looks right. It's swell. <laughs> All right, trying to figure out what the sponge is before we get up to it. You plucked a dilly, maybe? Probably not saying that right. Doing a bit of research, it looks like some starfish do munch on sponges and soft corals. So somebody eats them. Thank you for uh, trying to save my question there about whether it's edible by humans. I think my stomach was just growling from <laughs> missing lunch. I got you, Ashton. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12 minutes and 34 seconds till dinner. But who's counting? <laughs> um, somebody's actually oh. saying that they were so inspired by all the carrot cake talk and the churro talk yesterday that they made vegan lime cake today. Mm. Whoa. Mm. That sounds like skilled baking skills right there. Like, 
vegan lime cake. Like, had his top. Can you here. zoom in, please, Steve? Yeah, these are beautiful. All right. Oh, oh what wow. is it? Wow, that is awesome. What a wild lumpy boy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that piece that like, connects the two lumps. Yeah, oh. totally. Vital. Uh, if we can get the backside, that might help us an ID a yeah, little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So on a scale of one to ten, would or would not eat? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How hungry am I? <laughs> <laughs> it's glass, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a glass sponge. Sharp glass. Would you eat these computer monitors? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if it's this Rosella, Rosella Day species. Stocked Rosella which Day. Which is... Seems very similar. In the glass sponge, Elisocinicidae. Looks similar to some pictures we got here. Come wide, please, Steve. Yeah, very similar. You see those? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try looking up in there a bit more, see if I can approach it better. Whoops, ooh, ee. careful. Ah. Another cool Atalanta shot. Yeah, I'm flying from Atalanta right now, actually. Oh, that's a fantastic shot there. Okay, zoom in please, Steve. I got the current behind me, ah. which is a little dicey, but. Interesting that there's no um, yeah. commensal organisms in here. Yeah, this would be a great Oftentimes little Oftentimes, that's where you see them, in the backside. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Love it. All right. Thanks, okay. Trevor. 10, 20, 30, 40, Thank 50. you. Okay. Do we want to continue stepping up the ridge? We do. Okay. Can you come wide on Atlanta for a sec, please? Roger. Bridge, nav. Okay, Full all looks wide. good. You can zoom in again at your leisure. Can we move five zero meters bearing 330, please? <coughs> Thank you. We're going to kind of miss a little. We're going to go down a little micro slope here. Yeah, before it does we look reacquire. like that. Yep. All right. Hmm, what's down there? Can we have a view of the bubble cam in channel three while we're Sure thing. In this perspective, just so folks can see what's going by. So this is the view kind of looking down from the light bar of Herc towards the seafloor as we're moving over it. That you're now seeing in channel three or the lower left part of the quad view. I like these associations of the uh, yellow crinoids with the uh, Walteria. Just, just w went out of the frame, so I don't can't circle it for you. Uncircleable. Are the currents still pretty strong, or have they settled down at oh, all? Oh, they are. They're quite strong. Still moving. Yeah. They're a little, le a little less than earlier, but they're still... It's funny. It's really funny. It's The currents are... Okay, so usually you just watch the marine snow and see it go by, and mm -hmm. of course you'd think that would be the water moving. And for some reason, the visual feedback of that does not correspond with what I'm feeling. Mm. And Jess was saying that last watch, too, that it was way more current than it looked like. It was very bizarre. Could you adjust the tilt, perhaps, to uh, deal with this flare? Hmm. Interesting. Why don't I do this? Is that a different, are there different lights on than usual? Oh, there we go. Porch light. Thank you. Strikes again. Classic.
Pan, I know 10 meters is a lot, but it does not feel like a lot when you're this close to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Totally, yeah. Half a percent of the total depth. Oy. Oh, Diane, I forgot to tell you, when you spotted the tail of Fisher or whatever that was, we mm -hmm. saw coming out of that rock. Somebody is guessing that it may have been a cutthroat eel. So maybe it was that. We have no idea. I like that guess. Hmm. Yeah. I, could, I could believe that. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to ID with just the tail, huh? I know. <laughs> Do we have a good picture of one? Not in there. Okay. In, in this one are some of the fish. Fish aren't on the uh, wish list. But some of the, some of the eels. Nobody here. wishes for fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it does have a very whip-like tail like yeah. that, huh? Yeah. All right, question for uh, front row. Someone is wondering, what is the deepest that Herc has ever gone, and how deep can he go? Uh, deepest I've seen was th th 3,920, I want to say. Something like that. In... <sighs> Uh, off the west coast of Mexico in 2017 or so, mm. and it's 4,000 meter rated. We oh, so that, was, that was really close we to were, the max. We were concerned. <laughs> 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 A little sweat on the brow that day. A little sweat on the brow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it did so great. Here's hold a your new moment. type of sponge that we haven't yet oh, seen on this dive. Yeah, yeah, good catch. Oh. Is that another glass sponge? So I'd say so. Where? Might be, yes. Um, in the, I can't say the name of this, Euplectidile. That's good. Okay, zoom in please, Steve. It's very far away and flat. Hmm. Ooh, love that. It's like sort of bowl shaped, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I like the On fuzzy the edge. Can we get cool. a little more zoom on Atalanta, please? Mm, Thanks. There's like I'll a little it. baby coral off to the right there, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. With like a giant hold fast. That's a paragorgia. <laughs> <I've ever laughs> oh, the zoom's uh, running on me here. Okay. Roger. It's, it's running. Oh, oh, wow. It's sticking. Oh, boy. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. That thing's not Dynamic. moving. That is attached to that Come wide on Herc Zeus, please. Come away. sure what that was. How long is the tether? Somebody's wondering. Do we know? What was the question? How long is the tether? Yeah. Like Three zero, yeah, thirty meters. Gotcha. Okay, do we want to keep stepping up the ridge? Yes, please. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we have another step five zero meters bearing three two five? Thank you. 
Somebody was guessing that that sponge was maybe a uh, bolosoma, bolosoma glass sponge. Ah, the bolosoma. Mm hmm. Yeah. Is that because it looks like I a bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was actually this type of sacrocalyx. Mm. But I'm not sure if those are unstocked or not. Had a similar look to it. Maybe this guy. Oops, too far ahead. Can I please have a DBL reset? Uh, that yep. so this is like things that are rare. Yeah, true. Um, okay. And thank you. I don't think that's what it was. Can we get a partial zoom on the hold fast on this? It looks yes, we can. huge. Well, like, really, a lot of these are really big. Mm -hmm. Okay, Steve, zoom in there, please. <laughs> yeah, that is overkill. Yeah, <laughs> really it is. A couple of those cup corals there, too. There's a couple different species of coral in the same hole. Yeah. fast. Yeah. yeah, it almost looks like it. It almost looks that like it's scary. growing on an old sponge. Yeah, that's my thoughts, too. Base. Yeah, okay, thanks. Come on wide. A lot of s dead sponge debris here, too. Yeah. Still pretty colors, though. We haven't seen any of those neon yellows and some of the bright reds we That's saw true. yesterday. That's but this true. is still quite nice. Yeah, it's a lot fewer depth. purple ones, too. Yeah, you're right. We mm -hmm. haven't seen any of those stoloniferans that we saw yesterday, the purple ones. All right. Switching out for dinner. Thanks, Chris. Uh, if we could get a partial zoom of this Walteria with a crinoid on it. Ooh, I mentioned yeah. that earlier, but we haven't had a chance to get a partial zoom on it yet. Cool. Go ahead, Steve. Zoom in there, please. Yeah, great. Nice. Thank That's you. Beautiful. Come on. Seen some black coral around here too. Yeah, yeah quite a, bit. a little bit there on the a right. A couple, yeah. yeah. A couple over here. Mhm. Mm One just above it. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, there's one over there too. Mhm. Mm Next too. Mhm. Mm and the orange ones. Ooh. It's a cool area. Mushroom you guys coral. Are in. All sorts of species down here. All right, we're getting ready for handover, so I'll set the vehicle up and we'll. Sounds out. good. Ah, that rock formation wow. there looks pretty amazing too. Yeah. So for anybody watching us at home, um, thank you. And uh, we're in the middle of a little meal handover. So we'll pause a little bit on our exploring while everybody's getting resituated. Yeah. Yeah. 12 to four watch members are coming on for a little while.
Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Oh no, they are cranking. For those of you just joining us, we are making our traverse up the slope of unnamed Seamount West in the Liliokalani Ridge. Just a bit north of the boundary of Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument. We headed up there a little bit sooner than anticipated due to rough weather. It's a little s sea star there. Yeah. You know. This is expected to be a 12-hour dive total, and we're hoping to traverse about 2.2 uh, kilometers and a vertical distance of about 200 meters. So we're about two-thirds of the way vertically through that dive. Yeah, kind of fighting a strong current, too, coming over that ridge and downslope, from what I understand from our ROV pilots. Yeah, this place is a, has some interesting currents going on with it. Can we take a little look at that bigger sponge there? Ooh. The one to the right? Yeah. Roger that. Didn't we see some of those sponges yesterday? Rosilla yeah. Day? No. What is that laying against it? Yeah. Is that like another dead sponge? Same There's kind? The black part. It's like a uh, black yeah. part. Is Go that wrong? push that in there, please. Ah. This that looks thing. like a hole. That's a rock. It's a rock. It or looks a rock. like it was bent up over it. But I guess the I think I think the sponge is attached to the side of it. Yeah. It's just a weird angle. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It's more of those uh basket stars on top. It's making this rock very showy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the rocks are in on the musical theater idea. Oh, we were tossing maybe. around earlier. All right, full wide please. Take a look at some more of the beauty down here. There's another one of those sea stars. It looks like it just oh, yeah. ate most oh, of the yeah, polyps sure off the of wire yeah. coral. It's in a food coma. <laughs> <laughs> that's Which gonna be me in about a half hour. Yeah, that's just <laughs> me <funny>. too. <laughs> we have a question about what might cause the deep sea currents in this area. Mm. I do not know. It's that's a good question. I know on land there's like wind effect around mountains. Is there uh, like a current effect around underwater mountains, around sea mounts? Yeah, for there sure. Will yeah. Will mm -hmm. Wind tunnel effects for sure. But I don't know what drives them at all. Huh. My guess would be density differences in the water, either due to heat or salinity or both. Yeah. That sounds like a good guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shall we keep move? Yeah, let's keep moving. Yeah. Bridge, this is enough. Another uh, move, same step. Bearing 320, 50 meters. Ash, I'm going to zoom out slightly on the Adeline. That would be great, thanks. So is Herc still able to uh, uh, move against the current? Okay, or are we uh, taking it for a walk? Oh no, we're able to we're able to push against the current. All right. Okay. There's still a, a, a wee current, a current, but <laughs> we've we've seen worse. <laughs> oh, I'm sure.
So yesterday we took a sample of a sponge that had some purplish, it looked like mold on it. It wasn't mold. <laughs> uh, did we find out what that purplish organism was that was growing on there yet? Mm. Oh, that looked like the Stolonifera? Yeah. I am not the person with an answer for that, uh, but we could definitely ask uh, Beth or Ryan when we get the chance. All right. Bon appetit. It's pretty like corals also. Yeah, we pretty. did bring a nice piece of that uh, that sample up on board. It's uh, it's really pretty. This looks like there was a sheet of lava that kind of cracked with a slope, kind of broke apart. What would you say? Am yeah, I making that? a little up? on delta, please. Yeah, that that is Coming entirely up. possible there. One of our viewers is noticing that uh, there's a lot more life up here uh, now that the rocks are not so shiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little denser, and it looks like the uh, uh, the proportions of uh, some of the species we've been seeing has changed quite a bit. Yeah, a lot more of the what is it, the bamboo coral? Is that right? The wire yeah, coral. That's what I was thinking. They were, yeah, uh, yeah. They're uh, pretty dense around here. There's another sea star feeding on one of them over there on the right. <laughs> oh yeah. It's got a long way to go compared to the others. Yeah. <laughs> Looks kind of like Patrick. There are a lot of predation events down here, aren't there? Yeah, Sometimes it yeah. seems to be. Yeah, there's another one right yeah, behind ahead. it, too, at the very top center. Oh, yeah. You can go ahead and push on in center screen. By one, ten, by one leg. I wonder <laughs> if it's just that they move so slowly that the odds that we'll see the event happening are higher. Oh, maybe, yeah. All right, full wide, please. Is there anything we should keep an eye out for back throw or uh, anything on a wish list? Do we collect one of those greeny slimy things or have we not seen those anymore really? I guess I would know that <laughs> we're all from our watch. We have not collected one of them. But I can answer <laughs> my own question. If we see one of those, that was something that we had talked about collecting with Chris. Roger that. This cactus looking guy here. Yeah. <laughs> These are weird Walteria. <laughs> yeah, it's another one yeah. with those side growths. Yeah. Go ahead and push out in there again a little bit. Man, yeah. those same sea stars are just devouring yeah, all those over bamboo here. coral. Huh. Weird. Interesting. All right, pull wide, please. Any geology that you want to look for right now, Val? Or are we, is that more toward the later end of the dive? Um, I think we'll hold off for the time being. Cause I think uh, I think they just picked something up a little bit after four, and uh, we're uh, we're fighting current, so uh, it's it's been hard to make big lateral moves. Yeah, they got a rock for you about an hour ago. Oh, yeah. Here's one of those green things. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there are a couple of them here. Oh, yeah, sure enough. You want to stop the ship there? Oh, good eye. I didn't yeah. see it. No, let's, let's, uh... Can you stop the ship, please? Okay. Thank you. Praise this is not. So that's Hold position here, please. Gonna be a little scrape and scoop. A, yep. A schmear and scoop. A schmoop. and scoop. Schmoop. Roger. Given it's dinner time here on the ship, it seems to be a very appropriate uh, thing to be doing. Schmooping? A scrape and slurp? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and push on in there, please. I'll do 
bump up. Yeah, look at the morphology on that thing. That's the correct thing, right? Yeah, that's it. All right, roger that. All right, full wide, please. Oh, is Chris still on? He'll be happy. He is not. Okay. Um, I don't think. I think we're okay. You keep an eye on sonar, make sure we have no, nothing coming up. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll keep an eye out. Right. Is it just me or is that crinoid in the, uh, in the back there really big? <laughs> Show me bubble there on the the hockey puck. Showing you what? Uh, on the bubble cam, showing me the slurp there. Yes. Um, let's do that. One. Not the hose clamp. Not much wrong. Looking for that. Whoop. And if it's all, if we're all flushed out, we can put this one in slurp jar one. Roger that. Sounds great. I'm making a mess of myself here. Let me switch this around a little bit. All right. Once, uh, once we're done sampling here, uh, our manganese crust expert, Kira, has a little information about the uh, uh, currents we're experiencing. So um, I'll uh, share some of that once we're finished with this. Go ahead and set that guy to flush. Yes, on it. Uh, is there a certain percentage you'd like? Uh, go ahead and for a hundred percent there. All right. We are out. Oh, you're on number four right now. Oh, so uh, cut the cut the section. I'm sorry. Cut so the section. Gotcha. Yeah. Zero section, and then rotate the jars uh, either forward or at the forward oh, or reverse. Do that. Is there a certain jar number you're looking for? To one. Yeah. It, yeah. To it's one. like past one, and it says flush at the bottom. Oh, we're looking for. Oh, flush. gonna flush first. Gotcha. Sorry. Oh. Figuring out the directions of these things. So we're doing a flush first. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Then uh, plus 100% on the, yeah, there you go. On the slurp here, T6. Yeah. Okay. We are at 90, 100. All right. All right. Go ahead and zero the flush there. Okay. Awesome. And then, uh, Leela, what sample jar do you want this in? One would be awesome. Raj. All right. Go ahead and line it up on one. Yes, ma'am. I'll get us out here while we're in. All right. There's one. Great. And then would you mind showing me on bubble oh. the, um, the little green blob? Yes. Leela, it looks like there's some coral left over in one. Do you want us to do two oh. instead? Um, sure. Let's do two instead. Roger. Uh, Ashton, would you mind uh, switching it to two on the bubble can on the bucket? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Okay, there's and then two. Rhett, you want to push on in, please, on the HD? Thank you. 
All right, go ahead and pull, or let's do half, and then. Okay, suction going to 50%. Roger. Okay, we're at 50. Oh, that thing is stuck on there, isn't it? Mm. Interesting. <laughs> oh. Mm, it really doesn't even want to do the scrape. Wow. Go ahead and go to 100%. All right, going up to 100. Huh. What is this? I don't know. We don't know yet. There's another one behind it, too. I didn't see that one at first. Yeah, it looks like it's really on there. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, we almost should have sent one of the uh, chisels from the geology drawer. Yeah, down. it looks like it's like a biofilm almost. Yeah, Cause I, I think it's like a rock underneath it there. I wish we could I'm see a little better. Stuck with the rock. Do you have any more zoom there, Rick? I do. Oh yeah. Huh. Hmm. So weird. I can't just like just can't tell from here what that is. I don't know. You're pushing. Yeah, well you got right. some. Okay, that does look like right. It kind of seems like a shadow, but that must be the rock. That's the rock. It looks yeah. darker. Yeah, it does. Well, we'll have little fragments of it, maybe. Yeah, there are little pieces coming in. Yeah, I don't know if they're all flushing right out. Yeah. They okay. Might be too small for the mesh. That yeah. might be a maybe sample. Okay. Red. Okay. Go ahead and zero, or uh, full wide, please. Cut section. Yeah, oh, I'm way past, sorry. Okay, my bad. Thanks for the attempt. Yeah, sure thing. Is this counted to be a sample? Um, I'm gonna count it for now. Well, uh, it looks like very little ended up there. You Just want me to flush it anymore, you guys, or? Um, I think it's good. I saw it coming in, I just think it might have sucked right out, but just in case there's any, let's call it a sample. We might just have to say that it ended up getting lost. Okay. Should I set those suction jars back to flush? Uh, sure. Yeah, that'd okay. be good. Thank you. All right. Pass it. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. Was. I don't know what that was. It was so thin. It almost looked more... Like it wasn't crunchy at all. It was <laughs> soft looking. Almost a flush. Just really thin. One more, thank you. Feels like an effort. Yeah, <laughs> made it. All right. I'll get caught up and then we'll start another ship move. Okay. No, oh, all good, that's perfect, thank you. Yeah, so to answer the question from a few minutes ago about um, currents around here, uh, Kira says that the North Equatorial Current exists due to large-scale ocean circulation patterns. Um, it runs into the Hawaiian Island chain and splits into two currents that flow around the islands. The northern branch is the North Hawaiian Ridge Current, and that's what we're feeling over here at the uh, Lilio Kalani's. There's some fragments of that uh, that specimen that we can take a look at later. Okay. But yeah, we just don't know what we'll get till we take a look at the at the jar. All right. Time for my dinner. Uh, so I'm gonna hand this back over to Beth. Two eight five waypoint two. Rod, Rod. Two eight five. Why can I hear myself? How do I undo that? Side tone. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like that. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Control all, I don't want to hear that again. <laughs> Raj.
Yes, please. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing two eight five, please? Thank you. All right, what did I miss on the chat? Debate about what the green thing was. I told Rhett there was pesto for the pasta, and he said we just slurped up pesto. <laughs> yeah, we uh, tried. I'm glad I we sort of did. We did think did. about that before I flushed ate. it right on out too. <laughs> so what was it? It was. We couldn't figure it out. Uh, it it doesn't look like a colonial tunicate. It doesn't look like a worm. It seems too thin to be an aplacophorin, like a mollusk of some kind without a shell. It. I like sponge is my best guess, but it, it's a really weird looking, super thin, delicate oh. thing. We saw that for the first time yesterday, right? Yeah. We didn't see it on the first dive. No, I not the first dive. <laughs> so much giggling. Somebody said something stupid. <laughs> it was <Okay>. really funny. <laughs> I'm not. You're. You are. Yeah. You're muted. I'm laughing at nothing. <laughs> I'm laughing at the mute. <laughs> um. <laughs> Jess, can we get? I know you're just about to pass over it. What would you like? And there I'm was that Kylie. bright red. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I just I don't I didn't didn't think you noticed. Hello. Hi. <laughs> what would you like? I knew your voice. I just didn't realize you were piloting. Um, this oh, that guy? bright red on the side. Sure. Of, yeah. I'm just curious what it is. Just I couldn't quite tell from the angle. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. It's not something we're gonna sample. I just wanted to get a sure. partial zoom. Can you come in oh. video halfway? I'm curious what it is. Oh, okay. oh it's octa coral. Sucked up mushroom coral. Yeah. Oh, is it a mushroom coral? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks for clarifying, no everybody. Problem. Come wide. Okay. Thanks. All right, we can keep on boogieing. Oops, that was my uh, heading and not my camera. Raj. Kind of a cool rocky ledge to your right, maybe? Interesting sheet float feature here. Um, can we pan up just a tad? We can get a better shot of that. Oops, oops. Ha. Yeah, no, that's great. Look at that. It's just a beautiful sheet. Yeah. What is our orientation? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Thanks. We can keep going. Okay. Kind of traverse along it. Question for the pilots. When you're panned left or right a few degrees, mm -hmm. that must affect your flying, right? Because, yeah, a little bit. You mean like the, if the camera is not square? Yeah. Uh, is it noticeable? Can you tell sometimes just by how it, the vehicle responds to your controls, whether you're off kilter a bit? No. I suppose the current, all that plays in, but... Yeah, it, it feels the same. That symptom or that problem feels the same as side current. Yeah. So it's hard to know explicitly what it is. Yeah. But you can feel something's, something's weird. It'd be nice if you could like hit a button to like just bring it back to center, huh? Oh, that would be lovely. 
please install that before next dive, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> I'll start working on the design. <laughs> Looks like there's lots of little cup coral on that rock that the lasers are pointed at. Sorry, what was that? Might be a starfish in this corner there, or is that a squat lobster? I'm an island. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Are you looking at the white thing, Kylie? Yeah, I want to zoom on that once I get centered on it. Yes, you can. Almost looks like the whole Video vast zoom? for a uh, coral. Yeah. That's no longer there. Oh, yeah. It's doing its best crab imitation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, some brittle stars on that sponge. Whoop. Let's see. Okay. Come wide. Thank you. Beautiful. Ooh, fish. <coughs> Oh. Oh, yeah. Nice. This is a pretty shot. Do we care about fish? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, we would we'd like, like to, to look, at, look at it and... Oh, there's another Video one zoom? tucked in, tucked in the back. Oh. Ooh, wow. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Two wow. for one. Oh, very cool uh, pattern. Two for skin. Kind of spotted. Oh, Ooh, it is. Look at the way light. it's Ooh. moving. It's like opening wow. its mouth. Oh, Oops, my goodness. Cool. Which one is that? Let's see if Coming I can wide. open them up Full wide. Raj. And can we look at the one in the back as yeah. well? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should just... Kind of hiding up under that ledge. Yeah. So Steve is letting us know that the... Video zoom? First one was a... Cinephobranchid eel. Throat eel. Another one, maybe? So that was probably a good guess. Do you have any earlier. more zoom? A little bit more? I do. Yeah, I think that is one of the. Let's hold that. Oh. Whoa. Let me see. Look how slow it's oh, like. Sorry. No. It's okay. Spicy up. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to fix that. That's about a mid zoom there. Okay, that's cool. Beth, can you repeat one more time what they. Uh, Helped us identify the first fish was? So the, yeah, cutthroat eel or okay. cinephobranchid. Oh, that's what somebody on the, out uh -huh. in the world said too. <laughs> yeah. Great. Nice. Do you have what you need here? Thanks, Kylie. I think we're good. Thank you. Otherwise. Thank you. How do you feel about those rock formations, Beth? Whoa. Um, I don't, I haven't really felt about them yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hard Focusing as rock. on the fish. <laughs> okay. Still need to process it. Just an interesting little ledge feature, I guess. Yeah, well, where we just were, it looked like oh, I got a sheets uh -huh. of lava that had come out of this volcanic eruption. Continue to waypoint, too. This looks a little bit more textured, but similar. You mm -hmm. got layer upon layer. Is that a glass sponge over there on the left? Bridge now. And a starfish as well. Yep. Can we... Can we move five zero meters bearing two eight five, please? Thank you. Oh, another fish. I just need to get a little bit ahead. Yep. Two eight five, Raj. Maybe I can face this way and look that way and go that way. Oh, did I tug on you? No, that's the waves. Are we actually right on that ridge top there? Yes. Come on. Okay. <coughs> Call it out when you see a zoom you like. Okay, I will. 
I would like a zoom. <laughs> on Atlanta. <laughs> Whatever you think you can do. Thanks. That white sponge there, is that the, um, another fish? Well, Walt, Walt, oh, oh Flamingi, uh huh. Yeah, yes. Walteria. Yes. Can I get a part of a zoom on that, a little one, a quick one? Because this one doesn't have that weird goiter, and I just like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so cool. This looks like, um, anyway, come on. Come on. What's that scary, uh, uh, Needlehead or something? Oh. <laughs> What's that? You know what I'm talking about? Pinhead? Pinhead. Pinhead. Yeah. Pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> Needlehead. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, well, yeah. In the neighborhood. Is that a band or a movie? We knew what you were talking about, though. <laughs> it's, it's exactly. Um, <laughs> the visual comparison was real. I think it's a movie. I don't watch scary movies, though. Me neither. Mm, front row, time for a quick question? Yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. Someone is just wondering, what are the main differences between Argus and Atalanta? Length, weight. Uh, width. Width. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Size, maybe. <laughs> Dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> Dimensions, another good one, yeah. Um, the, not much. There is a brand new, well, uh, brand new relative to Argus. Uh, side scan sonar on Atalanta, much more capable than Argus, Argus's configuration. And instead of a sub bottom profiler, we have a sound velocity sensor. Other than that, they are quite similar in capabilities. Atalanta also has a few less cameras. Mm, yes. That's right, yeah, good point. Also wondering why maybe that cutthroat eel didn't didn't seem to really spook. People are wondering when we sort of came near it and you think it's blind? Just kind of kept going. I it was also business. surprised by that because didn't eels typically have a strong reaction to the ROVs when we get close. Mm. Was that so? What did they do? They open their jaw and shake their head and swim away fast. Well, he did open his jaw. Oh, he did. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Were we on watch for the gulper eel? No, not me. That was Sarah in the video chair. Oh, that's right. Sarah's still working on that uh, biggest little farm. Oh, there's a uh, crab in the background here. Hmm. Right over there. Oh. 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 <laughs> so much to see here. You and Diane have like the best eyes. Yeah. <laughs> He's a, like big one. Yeah, that is a big one. Come here. Let's go take a peek at that. I'm trying. Yeah, you want a partial zoom or slow zoom on that? Let's see where the where I can see him behind the uh zoom in. things. <clears throat> Bamboo coral. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want to misidentify it, so <laughs> I was stuck with nothing. <laughs> You can also call them whips. It's a black coral there. So uh, what? How do I? So they look like a C pin to me, right? So how do I say like my non-scientific brain, which is which? C pens often are attached in sediment instead of up oh, here. Okay. So you'll see. I, I think if that's what I remember from the last cruise. Um, that often is one of the defining features. Okay. And you know it's a bamboo coral because of the nodes? Uh, yeah, if we were to zoom in on it, you would see the ring patterns like on a, on a bamboo. Oh, good. Oops. oh, yeah, also getting a good look at that crab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do this guy. Is that another one of the mushroom coral? corals behind uh -huh, it? Uh-huh, right behind it. Are you full zoom? Nope, I'm going to go for it though. Full zoom now. Oh, cool. Do we know what type of crab, I wonder? Hmm. I do not. Up. Very cool though. Spiky, spiky, like spiky legs. legs. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Almost looks like a king crab, but not quite. Mm. Okay, we can go ahead and come keep wide. moving. Come on, Raj. 
cool. If we have enough leash, mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious to, uh, if we're looking at the high pack view, to kind of go over, or actually in the view of Herc, right? It looks like there's a, a, a drop off right in front of us. I'm kind of curious to just go over there and see what it looks like. It's almost like we're on a little high point. Mm -hmm. So as we're moving to waypoint two, maybe just to have a look and see if it's Can you point to me where, where that is on there? Raj. So like ahead of dead ahead? Yeah, sort of ahead. Gotcha. basically dead ahead or Raj. to your left. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's a just bit. a little depression over there. It's not as dramatic as it looks from behind. Small depression. Ooh. But still not as many big corals and things, just in that little bit of elevation change. Yeah. Okay, thanks. We can keep going to the uh, to the west. Raj. Okay. 285. Hmm. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing 280, please? Thank you. Lynette, can you um, zoom out on high pack just a little bit so I can see where waypoint four is in relation to waypoint three? Yes. I'm going to. Oh, it's way up there. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to turn the other way. Take a wrap out of the tether. Okay. And then proceed to 285. 280. 280. There's our crab friend again. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I thought I was going to make it a whole one, a whole wrap. Do you want to zoom out on Ad Atlanta for this spin? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. I was waiting for Trevor to answer, and I was like, oh, I have a voice. I forgot. <laughs> You're in the boss chair. <laughs> I'll use I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> so for anybody watching from home, new to watching Nautilus Live, and what we're doing right now is there's a tether connecting the ROV Hercules to the ROV Atalanta up above, and we want to try to make sure that that tether doesn't get kinked. So they're just moving in orientation to one another. Give it. Okay. Two eight zero. Can can you come full wide on Atlanta just so I can check the tether as I go forward now? Full wide. Oh. Super slid. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to get ahead. That means I'm a little behind. <laughs> Did you change the tilt? It's way down. You see it in the um, bottom left up. up. <laughs> you just tilted past down, so you're looking back <laughs> up. <laughs> you're looking. Okay. So I have a slopey here coming up in front of me a little bit. Yep. Okay, I'm zooming back in a bit. Come back down to the, the bottom. Interestingly, like nothing on yeah. this slope. I wonder Phew. if it's relatively unstable. Things can't attach here. It's not good current. Yeah, much more sparse than what we were looking at just moments ago on the other side. Oops, sorry. Nope, but there's stuff coming up ah. ahead. I'm just okay. going to a little bit down. Oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. Coming up. Oh, 
still getting situated post dinner break here. We got a little <laughs> switch off of the ROV pilots. Two eight something. Two eight zero. Someone's wondering how tall bamboo coral get. I guess we're seeing so many of them. I hmm. feel like we've seen some really tall ones, like three, four meters. Couple meters, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you full wide on Herc Zeus? You can push in past the stuff, please. Thank you much. All right, 285, here we go. Here's a nice stocked sponge. Oh, yeah, look at that. Big one. Mm -hmm. Test Looks like complete. A, wow. Test complete. Oh, wow. Similar to the kind we saw mm -hmm. right before dinner. Yep. <clears throat> Which, of course, I've forgotten the name of. But we do know it's glass sponge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of some kind. And it looks like there's another one behind it. Yep. That one is no longer. Dead. Are these yeah. the I was like, that one looks a little Ooh. sadder. Yeah. Are these the ones we called uh, <laughs> Dr. Seuss the sponges one. last year? <laughs> Rosella Day. I'm back from dinner, and that looks significantly less edible now. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good as the cabbage rolls. <laughs> so we're probably going to go over a little bit of a saddle here soon um, as we start to change our heading northwest to start heading to waypoint four. Raj, we're skipping waypoint three. Yeah, I think we. I want to catch up a little bit, cover Raj. some more ground. Um, Roger. Even though this is a very delightful little ridge here, we've got some elevation gain we'd like to get. When do you want to make that hop? Uh, whenever Lynette uh, thinks we're good on a ship's move, the next ship's move. Uh, we have 20 meters left, so this one heading west. Okay. Um, then we can start heading north, northwest. Yep, that sounds okay. right. Okay. Oh, very nice comment from our friends out at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Hey. Say that they tell people all the time to watch our live streams. Great. That's Thank awesome. You. Thank you so much. Um, we hope you guys will sign up for some live ship to shore interactions. If, any, if you have any camps or groups, there's still time left. You still got some spots there, Shelby, for some live interactions? I hope so. Okay. Kelly, Kelly if you're listening, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll have some spots left. This is reminding me a lot of some of the dives we did on the uh, Voyager Seamounts in the southern part of Papahanamoa, Kuakea. There were a couple dives we did that had these views of just endless bamboo coral whips up in the, the water. Go so tight. <laughs> Bless you. What is our water depth these days? Bridge nav. 
2051. Yep. Can we move five zero meters bearing 315, please? Thank you. So at this point, are we still focusing on collecting rocks for age dating purposes, or we are looking for any like biological specimens to collect? Uh, we're always doing both. Yeah. Um, so on every dive we're doing on this expedition, which is generally on a, a new seamount <laughs> every dive, uh, unless we catch up in our schedule, um, we're going to be collecting rock samples, trying to get at understanding the origin of these seamounts in this region, and uh, also to get a better understanding of the alteration history of those rocks as they've been exposed to the seafloor. But we're always looking to see what the animal diversity is like. Um, these areas have never been um, uh, imaged before like this. And uh, so we just want to see what's down here and how it connects to other environments that have been studied. And uh, we have a wish list.